Hello traders, Gary Wagner with the Gold Forecast. It is the 23rd day of September. It is Thursday and this is the Daily Report. Forex Gold currently trading at 192.02 and that's trading it up about a half a dollar to a dollar higher on the day. And this is our COMEX chart. Uh, COMEX, this is basis December's contract, trading at 1293.60. Couple of interesting things. Gold is taking a bit of a breather. We've seen this before. We get this doji in a evening star position. This is in the December contract. And when we look at our Forex contract, we get a small bodied candle, uh, very doji like. In typical markets, and uh, I have to underline, absolutely, gold is not a typical market, nor is this typical trading for gold. But in a typical market, I would be looking for uh, a top in the market. We get them quite frequently with these dojis. We get them at the tops. We also get them at the bottoms, these small-bodied characters. These small-bodied candles tend to be an indication to us that the market is consolidating. And most importantly, it's a great indication to show us that the uh, power shift is changing between, in this case, the bulls and the bears. Now, gold has been on such a tear. It has been moving up so strongly that we have seen multiple cases of these small-bodied candles that rather than being an indication of a top, rather are an indication that the market is just taking a, a breather. It's just kind of consolidating. You get these and then it breaks out to the upside. You get these small bodied candles that it breaks out to the upside. So that if we take a look at, for example, this last run that we've seen here, you'll notice that there is a large percentage that are actually doji or small bodied candles. So that does this tell me I'm looking at it as a top here? Well, no, I'm not. There's absolutely not enough information. But I do believe because we have taken this stab at $13, I pers 1300 excuse me, I personally think that we are going to uh, look to take that out on this wave. However, if we do not and if there's profit taking, I am going to talk about trailing our stop up because we do have two positions long gold, one at 12.55 and one at 12.74.50. So today we are going to be tightening up those stops so that if the market does want to have a round of profit taking before it runs back to 1300 and above, we lock in some profits. And we'll talk to you about that on today's report. As you know, over the last few weeks, I found it very useful uh, when illustrating how this market tends to move to go to our intraday. Not so much for, dra uh, for trading, but to show you that the market tends to tra trade in a defined trading range. I call this a trading band. It will then break out since we've been bullish and the market has been bullish along with us or we've been bullish along with the market, I should say. You'll see that break out to the upside and then it genuinely forms a new trading range and then you get that breakout. Again, here's a breakout to the upside. Now, we saw this just recently with this one band in here right below 1280. And then recently we saw that break above that. And this is the current band that we're in right now. We did see the market move a little bit higher, but now we are truly channeling again right within that defined range. So we're going to trade within this range and it's going to break one way or the other. I was absolutely certain here, here, and here that it would break to the upside. There was no doubt in my mind, uh, viewers, you've been watching the, the video, you know that that's how I felt. Here, I'm still looking forward to break above 1300. However, because we have gotten so close and at the same time, to me, the first point that we can even look at for resistance happens to be 1300. This is where I want to be a little bit cautious because this is where the market could come down and maybe pull some profits. There's, there's a lot of traders like ourselves that are sitting with nice positions that are in profits. We don't want to erode those profits. So what does that say and, and what makes sense to me? Well, there's really two places you could place your stop. You could place it below this set of lows right in here or this set of lows right in here. Those are the two spots that actually make sense. And we'll talk about that in uh, just a few moments.
So traders, what are my recommendations? Well, obviously we want to maintain our position at 1255, our position on the long side at 1274.50. As we look at, I personally believe right now that this market is probably destined to head anywhere between 13 and 13 and a quarter. However, I do believe there is some potential resistance and at any point we could see some sort of a logical pullback. When I say pullback, do I think the market has reversed and its course is now bearish? Absolutely not. Fundamentally, I think that nothing has changed to drive this market higher. I think that the market, as I say, short term 13, 13 and a quarter, we're almost at 13 now, is very achievable. Longer term, I'm looking, uh, uh, a year later, maybe $1,400 gold. So I see gold in the future going much higher. However, I do want to place a stop. And what I'm looking at is we're going to place our stop at 1269. We're going to place it below this candle right in here. So we're going to move our protective stop to 1269. That's going to lock in profits on one position and limit any kind of loss on the other. It would be a winning trade even if it got hit. Uh, and depending on how you cost average and how many positions you have at each would determine the kind of profit that you have. But we'll go ahead. I think it's the prudent thing to do. What I don't want to see is the market come down, test this area, and then move back up. But realize that is a good $25 away, but $25 is not a lot in the gold market. Really what I'm trying to say is that if they do want to pull profits and they take profits based upon just a logical retracement, we're gonna go ahead and look at our Fibonacci retracement from this low here up to this high here. And let me go ahead and darken those lines for you. Hold on, please. I've gone ahead and I've uh, kind of darkened in these lines for us. But as you can see, even if the market just retraced to a 23% level from this long move up, you're looking at about 1262. So if in fact we saw the market dip back down, we did get stopped out, we would look to buy again at these points. The prudent thing to do, obviously, maintain our long position. My personal feeling is that right now, this is just another area of breathing, but at any point, and I repeat this traders, at any point, this market can come down and profit taking can occur. We wanna be a part of the group that pulls profits if that does happen. And we want to remain long if this market continues to trade higher. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, great trading, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.